Nurse Watson. Uh, uh, I think it's fair to say that most of us are familiar uh, with the forest restoration and the emphasis on planting more trees, and I support that. There are many more, maybe uh, less known, uh, nature-based solutions like the restoration of peat and, and seagrass habitats. Both of those have been severely degraded in recent years, but are equally important for reducing carbon emissions and increasing biodiversity. I've chosen these uh, two areas particularly because those habit habitats were once uh, very common in my constituency of Mid and West Wales. 90% of seagrass meadows have been lost in the UK with the pollution and a range of boating activities thought to be the biggest culprits. Swans University are currently piloting an exciting project where they're trying to restore seagrass habitat in Dale Bay in Pembrokeshire. The seagrass meadows can store about half a ton of carbon per hectare per year and are a fantastic habitat for a whole range of marine species. I'd like to know, uh, Minister, uh, what assessment the Welsh Government have made of that project and the feasibility that it offers to being rolled out across other suitable marine areas in Wales. Restoration of uh, peatland in Wales is such an important aspect in hem helping to tackle climate change and biodiversity uh, loss. I do welcome Natural Resources Wales and the Welsh Government National Action Programme, uh, which has set targets to restore six to 800 hectares of peatland in identified areas across Wales between 2020 and 2025. But the use of peat in gardening uh, really does concern me, and I'm keen to know what steps the Welsh Government are taking to encourage Welsh gardeners and horticulturalists to go peat free. Writer and broadcaster Monty Don recently said that using peat in your garden is an act of eco vandalism, and I couldn't agree more. Thank, thank you very much, uh, Joyce Watson. I wasn't aware of the project that you'd refer to in Pembrokeshire, and I, it sounds very interesting. I'd like to find out more about it and to properly answer your question of what lessons can be learned from it. So if you're willing, I will go away, find out more, and uh, write to you uh, about that. I completely agree, as I set out earlier, that the, uh, that the potential of natural carbon stores is something that we need to be properly uh, harnessing. As I mentioned, NRW are currently mapping areas of marine and coastal habitats, including those which store and sequester blue carbon, to understand their potential and the opportunities for restoration of these important uh, habitats, and that includes uh, seagrass. Uh, and also, in terms of uh, peatland restoration, uh, I, I also agree with the points she made there. We have funded a five-year peatland action program to restore peatland with a budget of one million pound a year the project is funded uh, from 2020 to 2025 and aims to restore 600 to 800 hectares of peat uh, per annum and there will be a full review of that program uh, for us to learn what's gone well and how we become more ambitious with it and i'd be very grateful pleased to work with her on, on both those areas to see what more even more we can do Thank you, Deputy Minister. That concludes that item, and we will now take a short break to allow for changes.